The site of the former High Street School has been in the news recently after its sale by the Ministry of Education. Dan Hutchinson has followed the issue up with a front page story in today's Star newspaper about an alternative housing plan for part of the land. Dan joins us now. Good evening. Good evening. Dan, tell us who bought the site? It was a group of about 12 families um, and they've, they call themselves um, Urban Co-Housing Forty Forty. Um, and I think they're trying to come up with a snazzier name than, it, than, it, than that, <laughs> but that's what they're calling themselves for now anyway. Yeah. Now they have plans for a co-housing development. What is that and how does it work? Um, co-housing is essentially where um, everybody has their own um, unit. Um, in this case it's going to be a series of um, probably terraced type houses. And then they have a whole lot of common areas um, where you know things like the laundry go and um, and sort of meeting rooms and um, areas, you know, guest rooms and stuff like that. It's just basically the, the idea is just to minimise cost of living and just maximise those sort of spaces. So you've got a lot of, you know, opportunities like teenage rooms and, and things mm. like that, just to, just to make a wee, um, you know, a nice wee community basically. Do they have any idea at this stage uh, what sort of uh, perhaps sector of society they might be uh, aiming for with this kind of housing? Yeah, I think, um, you know, they're, they're looking for a wide range of people by the sounds of things, but I guess, I mean, everybody would have to sort of subscribe to, to that that sort of thing. Um, I guess you wouldn't want anybody who's, um, you know, too out there, but um, yeah, I think they all have a similar vision, you know, insofar as just, um, you know, doing things sustainably and, and mm. um, you know, quite sort of a green focus as well, I think. Um, yeah, but I think at the moment there's 12 families and I think they've got room for about another 12 families mm. as well. So. How did you find out about the development? Um, they contacted us actually, they just mm. gave us a ring and said that they'd bought the site. Um, there'd been a bit of speculation over who had bought it and um, yeah, they just thought uh, that they'd like to let people know what they were doing and that they didn't have anything to hide and that they've got an open day coming up on the weekend and they just, mm. they just wanted people to know a bit more about them I think. Do yeah. we know anything at all really about urban housing Autopotty? Yeah, there's similar models in Auckland. Um, I think it's a place called Earth Song, um, and yeah, they, they've got, I think, a, quite a big community up there, um, and yeah, similar thing, they, they have a lot of sort of smaller unit housing, and then a lot of the areas like guest rooms and things are all sort of shared, and um, you know, they've all got their own space, and everything's got its own title as well, so I think, yeah, it's an interesting concept, a different way of living, I think. <laughs> And yeah. a new development for the city, which can only be a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Star reporter Dan Hutchinson, thanks very much for your time. Yeah, thanks, Rebecca.